Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trombone First Aid. Today we are talking about a slide technique. The slide is one of the most crucial parts of our instrument and having a good technique will affect any aspect of our playing. Intonation, speed, articulation, sound. I mentioned uh, the slide in the video where I was talking about uh, sound uh, focus and intonation. This is because often we lose coordination uh, between thought, airstream and slide position. We should always be aware of where exactly our slide is. And to do that, I recommend you to play very slow glissatos and to really hear and feel the position so you can connect all the time these two things together. Another common problem for trombone players is moving the slide at the speed uh, according to the tempo of the music we are playing. Actually, our slide should move at its best speed, which is quite fast. So whenever we try to follow the movement of the tempo we would like to, to play, this is maybe too slow. And when we have something very fast to play, we tend to get really stiff with the arm because we think we have to move the slide much faster. Actually, the speed of our slide is not depending on the tempo of the piece. So to avoid this, I propose a kind of exercise. You should move the slide only when you are not playing and you should play only when you are not moving the slide. At first 
it seems very obvious and stupid but actually starting from this very easy exercise you can start really to divide the speed of your arm with the speed of the music this exercise should not be played fast but you have to focus on keeping a slow music tempo and getting faster with the slide to do that you can just keep the same tempo but play longer notes so you have less time to travel to desired position actually when you play long notes it's really hard and you have to run actually with your uh, arm to the final position for the next note this may tend you to be too fast but this is also uh, something we have to um, try to try out just to find the sweet spot of our arm speed where we can get in time to the position without moving our trombone or getting too stiff with the arm I recommend you not to start with the last exercise so play shorter notes at the beginning so you can really notice if you are playing when you are moving and if you are moving when you are playing or not then when it gets with the long notes it's really tricky to find so you may do the exercise not correctly thinking that it's correct so at the beginning spend most time doing short notes I use this Benedetto Marcello sonata. It could be This could be very helpful because then you always know where your arm is and when you want to coordinate it with your toe and airstream there is no doubt anymore. It is also very important to practice this kind of passages that are uh, recurring between close notes which are actually very far in the trombone. For example, I'm talking about uh, B flat and C in sixth position or mostly I find quite hard for my students to, to play F and F sharp. So I suggest you to do this quite uh, often so you can uh, really focus on the intonation and the uh, clarity of sound. <laughs> Also, you can play it legato. In order to play a nice legato, you really need to have already achieved a good speed with your arm. So this is something that you should do after doing the other kind of exercise. Same thing could be with the same note, like F and F in sixth position. You can do that with any interval you find quite uh, problematic. Often it's not a problem of flexibility or embouchure, but just coordination, because you are already there maybe with your airstream, but not yet with your arm or the other way around. So coordination is really important. And in order to achieve that, you have to master your slide. Another common problem involving the slide is when we, for example, play some phrase going up and the slide is going down. In this case, the, this movement applies kind of suction in our mouthpiece. So in order to compensate this, we necessarily need to give more air into the instrument. Otherwise, the sound will just drop. 
On the other way, we could use the advantage of going up and moving the slide up just to give some to, to, to get some extra energy to reach higher notes. So uh, mostly there is no problem going high, but uh, going high when the slide is moving down. In this case, we have to remember that extra air support is required. The same we could say when we just play any kind of melody which moves, which asks us to move the slide down. In this case, especially if you play a lower register, you have to compensate with a lot of extra air in order to not have a drop in your final volume. Because actually th this suction is quite strong. So if, for example, you move from uh, first to fifth or sixth position, you have, have to add a consider considerable uh, amount of air in order to keep the same sound. Unfortunately, while this movement going high can help us with some extra energy, uh, on the other side, it may add too much air speed. So the sound could be affected and become a bit like laser or too narrow or too aggressive. We have to think about it and compensate just trying to be more relaxed and more wide open in our throat in order to have a lower airspeed when we go high. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Trombone First Aid. If you liked it, please thumb up and maybe subscribe my channel. If you have any comments or questions, just uh, write it down below. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Have a nice day.